Welcome to Jesus with Josie. So today I want to talk about Jesus' return. Is he late? You know, we're hearing of so many people having dreams and visions of his return, myself included. And we're basically watching Bible prophecy unfold right in front of our eyes. So where is he? Is he late? Is he going to make good on his promise to return? So 2 Peter chapter 3 talks about the timing of God and how different it is. You know, a day is like a thousand years unto the Lord and a thousand years like a day. So his timing is so different than ours. So what we may perceive as something taking a very long time is actually very minuscule to him. And then it also says in the last days, there's going to be many critics, many scoffers saying, oh, where is this promise of his return? I don't see him returning. Is he really going to return? But the word says that he's actually not late. What we perceive as a delay is actually his patience towards us. It is his love towards us because he doesn't want anyone to perish, but he wants everyone to turn to him and be with him for all eternity. So even for believers, for his bride, he is still working on us. He is preparing us. I don't know about you guys, but he's really had me reflecting. He's been showing me things. He said he's coming for a bride without spot, without wrinkle. And I know he continues to iron out the wrinkles in my life. And um, I know he's doing that for his bride. He's purifying us. So yesterday he posed a question to me and he said, if I were to return today, what would your day look like? If you knew that I was coming back today, what would you do differently? And I really meditated on that for a while. And I was like, okay, I'm going to live every day as if th this is the day he's going to return. And probably within an hour, the enemy already sent a distraction. He sent discouragement. He sent frustration. And I had to go back to that statement and that question and say, all right, am I going to live according to the frustrations of this life? Or am I going to live my life based on eternity and that Jesus could come back any moment? Because he said that this world's going to be full of trial, full of tribulation, but take heart. He has overcome the world. So we have to choose to keep our eyes on him and to walk this life out in holiness and righteousness and let him purify us. So I pose this question to you today. What would it look like? What would your day look like if you lived as if he was returning today? How would things be different? Would our conversations, would, be, would they be different? You know, the words that we speak, would they be different? The things that we watch on TV, would it be different? How would we spend our time? How would we spend our money? Would we share the love of God with others? What would be different? So let's live our lives from that question, from that light of eternity, that he can return at any moment. He's not late. He will be faithful to his promise, but he's waiting for the sons and daughters to rise up, to be purified, to show the world who, who he is. So let's represent him today. We're supposed to do everything as unto the Lord. So we should work as unto the Lord. We should raise our family and do the dishes as unto the Lord. Whatever it is that we're doing, let's do it as unto the Lord. Let's represent him. Let's be that light. So I encourage you to shine that light today to just live fully for him and anything that he's asking you to surrender, just surrender it. You know, he's got so much more for us when we truly lay down our lives to him and he asks for something. It's only because he's going to give us something better. He's never going to take something from us and not replace it. So I asked this question today. How would you live differently if you knew he was coming back today? So you guys be blessed. I'm praying for all of you. This is Jesus with Josie.